Hello and welcome. Hand of Fate is a fantastic game. However, it has no easy mode and it is way too hard. Because the writing is excellent, the story is excellent, the aesthetics are fantastic. I love this game, but I hate the mechanics. Most of them anyways. So I will show you how to hack this game, how to cheat this game, or realistically how to enable easy mode to make it actually playable. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe so I can keep making these kind of videos. Let's start with the fights. In my opinion they are not that horrible. There are some enemies that introduce new hardships that are that you just can't be prepared for though. Completely changing the hardness of fights in a horrible way. But the easy fights are just boring and basically in missions where health is important they are just a huge, huge middle finger to your face. But those fights that are easy are actually unbearably annoying because they waste so much time and again, if you just don't get lucky and don't see one of these green icons appear, or one of these red icons appear, then you lost some health, and if this mission happens to be one of those missions where health is extremely valuable, then you're screwed. So the first thing we're gonna hack are the fights. We're gonna make you make more damage and take less damage. So go to Hand of Fate, go to Properties, and go to Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. Alright, and here go to Hand of Fate 2 Data, go inside of Managed, and here you have assembly minus C dot DLL. This file you need to open in DNSpy. Now this is what DNSpy looks like. And this is where you can download DNSpy from. A link to this free software which is open source is in the description of this video. You just go to, let's see, latest release, you can test this, or this icon, build passing. Click one of these and in uh, latest release just do not download source code. If you only see source code forget about it. Go to the other link instead. If you see a zip file just download this. Or on the other page by appveyor download this dnspy.zip. Once you've downloaded the zip file right click it and extract all. Extract and go to the folder and then here you have uh, dnspy by man there are so many files in here it's a mess just find the one that is just called the end spy uh, you can use this if you have an older system x86 uh, six, or just use the spy.exe there it is what a mess and if you don't see these exe endings go to view options and here in view disable hide extensions for known file types because this is a computer beginner situation and this is a computer advanced user situation. All right, just double click uh, dnspy.exe and that, then you get this window. On Mac and Linux you might have to use Wine to get this running. All right, so once you have dnspy, get this assembly minus c dll file in here. Just drag it in there. And open this up, open this up, open the one with a dash up and the scrolly brackets. And now, again, this is just the beginning. What we want to first do is edit uh, the fighting. First of all, remember to turn off the game before doing this. So I'm just going to use search to find uh, damage. Control shift K for search. And here we're looking for calculate attack damage. Player controller. Yeah, player controller. We want that. Just get in here, press right click and uh, again, right click and press edit method. Do not press edit class. Never press edit class. You have to click between those squirrely brackets to get the edit method uh, option. If you click over here, wait, if you click over here, you get edit class. Don't do that. Make sure you are inside calculate attack damage in the player controller class. Inside this uh, scurly brackets, just right click and edit method. Okay. And now you get return base calculate attack damage times player instance weapon damage multiplier and just add before the uh, semicolon um, star 10f. This will enhance your damage by 10. You know what? That's OP. Let's do 5. That is still OP, but it'll be a bit more, a bit more challenging. Now, uh, that's that's basically already good, but let's go and reduce damage applied to you. All right, we're gonna stay in player controller. Let's fold it up and uh, see apply defenses, apply damage. So apply defenses. Let's edit this one. Right click edit method, and we're gonna look at a damage round to int a damage times some number. Let's just multiply this with. Uh, 0.1f and compile and now the important part is that we go to file save module and just ok now we can start the game again 
Alright, if we go into a battle again, let's find out how much damage we do and how much damage we take. Alright, we had 15 health. We still have 15 health. So basically we are not taking damage anymore because we reduce the number so much. Okay, 95 damage is what we do now. That is the damage we do to them. That is a good deal. Let's finish this. So this is how you make battle super easy. If that's not your thing, you can just basically not really skip it, but you can make it easy. One nice side effect is that you do not take any damage in, in these uh, dungeon mini missions anymore. That is great. Just look at these northerners fall. It's over for them. Just so freaking over for them. Kabam. Alright, now this is a, a really hard one. The freaking spinny circle. Basically, we just close the game and see what we can do. So this thing is called Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune cards. Fidget spinner. It's the fidget spinner of, of this freaking game. It's the worst thing. Alright, so inside of Wheel Spin Task, we can see uh, how hard it is getting spun. Spinned. Sp span. Alright, so we cannot edit this without breaking something. So let's just remember this. And then Start Spin. We're gonna just edit Start Spin instead. Edit this. So we're just gonna modify this to have A underscore turn duration times 5. Save module and try again. Alright, so at least it's super, super slow. Now let's see. Uh, let's try to get the, this one. Whoop. Let's try to get the blue mushroom. Okay, so we get this instead. Well, that's good. Let's let's now try to reduce the time it takes to stop. All right. So we're gonna just edit stop spin, and we're gonna just set both to zero. Please work. We're gonna save file, save module, and try again. All right. Let's see. Can we just stop immediately now? Oh, apparently yes. Apparently, even though it jumped immediately to another thing, apparently it works. So let's pick only blue things, alright? Only the blue things. So if this is down here, stop. And even though it spins back for some reason, we do get the card that was at the bottom at the moment. So that's interesting. Let's try again. But I, I think we basically... We, we basically... We won. We, we broke this game of luck. Well, you know, dexterity, but not really, because you never get uh, enough time to to train it. We just broke it. We can now select the card we want. This is fantastic. So next, let's take a look at the dice game. I think it's actually physically modeled, so uh, no no much luck here, but you can get items that add to your total score. So that might be something we can try to take a look at. So let's go. We're gonna search for dice. Maybe dice game? Yeah, there's a dice game class. Let's jump in there and take a look at the uh, methods in it. So, disable side colliders, enable side colliders, start. That uh, is not clear to me. Alright. Dice, uh, die, collision, awake, rotation, adjust. Dictionary, no dice roll task. Let's see. Oh, yeah, dice roll task. Complete and action. No. On roll complete, on roll complete. Update common side. Ugh. Dice roller. Alright, so we have dice roller evaluate. And I think we can simply in here just uh, not get the value of a dice of each die but instead we can just write six hopefully there is no die in this game that does not have the number six on it we're just gonna roll with it let's just roll with it get it let's just roll with it <laughs> all right let's see what happens 18 even though it's three uh, four and six we got 18 so you will always win die game that have normal rules. There is at least one card where you want to always increase your number. 
Although I think it's also okay if you get the same number, so that's fine. See? See? We totally get the best thing ever for any role. You are learning. Yeah, I am learning how to hack this game, my friend. Alright, so here's the pendulum, which I hate with a passion, because it is so freaking unfair. You are supposed to figure out this freaking reaction game in missions where it is really beneficial to win this, but then uh, you, you have no... I mean, how are you supposed to train this? The only way to train these freaking games is to grind, grind, grind. And what is this what this game wants from its players? I doubt it. So, to hell with good manners, we're gonna hack this thing. Let me just try to win this. Yeah, for whatever, whatever. So, we have the Pendulum class, and uh, I think Evaluate is the one we want. Right, so it assumes that failure is the normal state, and then it checks what the highlighted zone is, and then gives the highlighted zone's result. I suppose we could modify the way it moves and slow it down, but I don't really, I don't really care. I just want the best possible result. Alright, so this is interesting. Get best chance type. Let's go back to evaluate and right click and edit method. And I think we can just delete best. Get best chance type. I think that's... yeah, that's it. Get best chance type. Compile. Save module. And let us try again. Alright, so here we go. The modded pendulum. Let's try to hit red. The pendulum is ever changing. And the challenges it presents. See, it's gold anyways. It got the best possible result. We get rid of two of the monster cards. Fantastic! So we Hey, let's let's do it again. Like gold again? What's gonna happen now? Nicely timed. Yes, very nicely timed, thank you. He removes two monster cards of the one monster card. Wow. Fantastic! Well done, me! Woo-hoo-hoo! So Doesn't save us from starvation, though. Alright, finally we have the cards. They are actually my favorite, because you have a chance of knowing where something is, because it's actually physically simulated. But let's uh, try to dissect it. Alright, so I think I found something. There's chance shuffle. Chance shuffle. In the chance card task uh, method, uh, I mean class. And we have two numbers. Uh, one is um, how often it gets shuffled, which we can reduce to at least one, I believe. And then there's chance shuffle speed, which I believe we can also reduce. Right, so first let's reduce the shuffle speed, uh, which chance shuffle speed... Yeah, we can, we can edit this. Let's just uh, set this to... Minus 100 F. Right, that worked. Since this is inside a um, math max function, we will get zero as a result. So the default speed will always be the speed. Alright, so that should take care of the speed. Now let's see if we can modify the number of shuffles, which we want to be zero, ideally, if that is possible at all. But again, if we edit this and try to just write. Let's modify anything. Now we get errors. There's some complicated code going on. We cannot avoid having one shuffle. That's fine. At least we get only one. So let's set this to minus 100. Alright. Compile. And file save module OK. Alright, so here we have a card game. And see... Oh, oh, oh! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> it didn't shuffle! It did not shuffle! Oh my goodness, yes, that was fantastic! We can immediately pick... Wait, what? No, it shuffled so fast we couldn't watch it. Wow. Wow. What the heck? Yeah, if you mess up with wrong code, you might have to go to properties and local files over here. And then just verify integrity of, of game files that you might have to do. All right, let's uh, go back to the previous. Let's go to count. This M count. Chance shuffle difficulty M count. Well, I don't know. Let's set this to the same, but minus minus ten. This ought to take care of everything. We're just gonna save it and see what effect it has in game. All right, let's see. So uh, we're gonna have to test this later. 
for now we know it works, it, it's still working fine, right? This was the first map of that deck, so it was still the easiest. We're gonna have to check this later. Let's take a look at speed. Perhaps a bigger number is more beneficial here. Let's add 10 to this. And save module and go back. The idea being that if we slow down the movement of the cards, we can better track them. Alright, success, success. Yes, it completely works. So we have success and the success next on it. Wonderful. Now 10 might be a bit too much. Yeah, this is this is just annoying. Oh boy. Wow. So uh, the problem is uh, the difficulty will increase the like reduce the speed. Still, that was way too much. Let's let's set it to five and okay. And now we're gonna test this second stage difficulty, uh, which should still only mix once, and which still should be very uh, slow. Alright, here we are on the second map of a deck, and we start with a card game. So this is failure, let's keep track of failure. Alright, cool, we, s we know failure is behind there. Wow, this is super slow. But basically we know this is okay, this might be okay, let's go for the top one. Alright, perfect! So we pretty much mastered the card game, let's go to the next uh, map where we can then test how difficult it gets. Here we are again. So here, okay, okay, this is a, okay, thankfully the good one go, goes on top. So this still doesn't save us completely, uh, but it does help a lot. I mean, ideally we would be able to m move them apart, the cards, and to look at them from the side, but I don't know how to do that. Anyway, so this is already a good hack for the card game. Let's call it, let's call that even. But one thing at least I can help you with and that is giving you more money and food in the beginning of an adventure or a challenge. So we're gonna look for challenge alphabetically in the left hand side, challenge, challenge. And inside of challenge if we go to, yeah, in, inside of challenge we can just edit the starting food method I guess and multiply this by 10 for example and do the same with starting gold multiply by 20 perhaps and even go with starting fame and multiply and let's say plus 1 multiply by 20 and actually we want to do that with the others as well just in case somehow there is starting starting values that are zero. Now we just need to hope that all these numbers are values are actually numbers. But I think there should be. So here we see the effect. 220 gold, 50 apples, 20 fame. Perfect! So I hope this all helped, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel so I can make more of these videos and I will see you in the next one. Until then, ciao!